Greetings, Jack and Faye Community College students. In order to prevent the spread of COPD-19 and to adhere to social distancing policies, all classes in person will go online for the remainder of the semester, effective Monday, March 23rd. We are sorry for the inconvenience and we are here to help you transition to the Jackson State Community College online learning environment. Here is some important course access information. For the spring 2020 course formats, if you have a fully online course, your course will remain online. You can access this course at the Jackson State Community College eLearn website. If you're enrolled in a hybrid course, your course has transitioned online and you can access your hybrid course through the eLearn website. If you're enrolled in a traditional course for the spring 2020 semester, your course has transitioned to online and you can access your online course at the eLearn website. If you were enrolled in a distance course offered at one of our off-site locations, your course has transitioned online for the remainder of the semester. You can access your course materials at the Jackson State Community College eLearn website. If you were enrolled in a TNE campus course, your course will remain online and you can continue to access your course through the TNE campus eLearn portal at gotoclass.tnecampus.org forward slash d2l forward slash login. Here are some ways to access eLearn. You can access eLearn through desktop computer or laptop for ex full experience where you'll be able to take tests, upload your assignment through the Dropbox, communicate with your instructor, and go through your course materials and access your ebook materials. You can also access eLearn through an iPad or a tablet. You will be able to do most course activities through an iPad or a tablet with limited abilities when it comes to testing lockdown browsers. You can also access your course through an iPhone or an Android via the Pulse app. Just go to your Google Play store or your Apple store and find the Brightspace Pulse app and you will be able to sign in using your JSCC credentials into the app and you'll be able to do most class activities. However, keep in mind that accessing tests in lockdown browser and uploading assignments is a limited capability when using this app. Accessing courses via the JSCC eLearn is possible through these easy steps. First, go to www.jscc.edu. When you're on that page, scroll down, step two, and click on the JSCC eLearn website for menu options. As you can see in the photo here. This link will take you to the next step three, where you will enter your user's name and password into the JSCC server boxes. After you've entered your JSCC user's name and password into the field, click sign in and you'll be able to access the virtual campus. Here is the eLearn homepage. On the homepage, you have a few navigation options. You have bookshelf, or if your class has a digital ebook, you can find it there. You have Microsoft Office 360, which is a campus email where you can receive email communication from campus wide departments as well as your instructor. You have the help desk ticketing system where you will be able to put in a help desk ticket if you need help with navigating through the online learning environment or you have questions or concerns. Campus resources. Discover tab and the eLearn toolkit will be able to provide you with some additional tutorials on how you can use different aspects of the eLearn campus. At the top, 
you have notification tab where you can receive notifications for when assignments have been graded. You have subscription tabs and you have an, a second email account where you can email from an eLearn account to an eLearn account through this closed system. Below, you have icons where you will have a list of classes that you've been enrolled in. You also have announcements on the homepage. You have access to the help desk ticketing system, information portal, updates, students with disability information. So let's go into a practice course. To click on any course that you have to access it, you can click on the icon picture. Inside the course, you'll have some additional menu options as you can see running across the top. The course homepage consists of news items, a quick look at the class content, the library, live chat where you can chat with someone in the library, information on how you can file a ticket through the eLearn Help Desk team, updates, class calendar when things are due, campus announcements, and the student with disability oh, announcements. The eLearn Toolkit will provide you with some additional tutorials for how to submit assignments. The course homepage will provide you with some additional information on how you access different resources in your course. The Go to Class tab has different menu options for calendars for when things are due, content, discussions, drop boxes to submit assignments, grades to check your grades, testing, and additional links. To communicate with your instructor, you have chat, the classroom list with the attendees of your peers and classmates, discussion, email, and many other communication tools. So the online learning, as you can see, provides a wealth of information where you will commit complete classroom activities, communicate with your instructor, and take tests. Although this is not a traditional ground class, your class is now online, you're still able to continue on your academic journey and complete your work this semester. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact the Distance Education Help Desk team by submitting a request. You will log in here with your user's name and password, and you would fill out the fields that correspond with your concern, and a representative will be able to address your concerns as soon as possible. Once again, we thank you for your patience as we transition to fully online campus, effective March 23rd, 2020. Thank you and have a great day.